Hi there. <coughs> um, this is just a little um, demonstration that I'm going to uh, uh, video. Um, and it's regarding to parting off, um, in this case, a, a chunk of mold steel that's um, about inch and a quarter. Where are we? Inch and a quarter, I think it is, or... Uh, oh, inch and, inch and five eight. This is a, uh, yeah, inch and five eight. Um, and it's on uh, a little lathe um, manufactured by TAG. Um, a very tiny, small roller skate of a lathe. Um, <clears throat> uh, and, um, uh, this is a, a new, this is a new tool holder that I made, um, and it's of an old fashioned design used many, many years ago, back probably, goes as far back as probably early 1900s, um, might even be, uh, longer than that, um. So, um, I got it from a, another um, YouTube uh, subscriber, uh, his name is Celso, um, and I believe he's South American, I'm not exactly sure which country, um, but he's uh, quite a remarkable um, man in the sense that he has um, both hands um, have um metal um like a metal uh armor armor like a the, uh, I'm getting so confused now anyway his hands are missing and and in re and in replacement for that he has these metal hands with his fingers um moving loosely and uh um he uh he built one of these uh, holders um, for his lathe and um, he sent me a, a rough drawing of what he what he built and I scaled it down and um, made it as small so that it was comparable with the size of the lathe that I'm using. Anyway. Um, there's been some discussion on one of the forums that about um, chatter and so forth um, and uh, the different types of and the different ways of parting off in the lathe so I thought I'd just do a little a quick uh, demonstration of this uh, spring holder um, and uh, uh, see how it goes. Um, I, I started parting one off and um, the belt was slipping. Uh, it's just a little uh, Sherline DC motor that I have on here. Um, variable speed and um, it was the belt was slipping. The motor was still turning but the, the belt was slipping. So uh, I uh, applied some sticky stuff that I bought from England when I came over here in 74 and this is the stuff that I've been using on the belts um, it's a it's like a gooey tacky uh, a spray and it was it basically it's a belt it's called a belt dressing but um, I used to use it on motorcycle chains um, when I was younger. So it's a very, very old and it's still f almost full <laughs> and it still works. So that has improved the, um, the torque of the motor and the, and the belt. 
so um, I'll start it up now and yeah I'll start it up now and um, uh, we'll do a little a little demo um, okay I got the, I got the RPM at 475 and that's going to go right the way down as soon as I start cutting um, now let's see what happens down to two, 200 The blade is 062 by 38 wide. It's a German manufacturer. Of course, it would be much better if I had drip feed on here. I don't know what the material is. It could be, it could be uh, leaded steel, but I don't think so.
the lubrication makes all the difference. Not easy. So there you go, it's, uh, it's a big chunk of metal for this little lathe and uh, it will eventually do it but um, but even so it, uh, as far as I'm concerned the, this is a overkill what I'm doing here on this, on this type of lathe and um, I'm quite happy with the fact that uh, for normal purposes um, I don't have any problem uh, parting off material of different types and um, so um, I think it's doing pretty good actually um, it's not perfect um, but then it's a toy it's a little toy lathe really it's you know um, so anyway um, if you uh, if you watch the video, I hope you'll enjoy it. I'll get some some form of uh, education out of it. Um, and uh, so I'll call off now. Thank you.